Well, what's up guys and thank you for watching another video from Serenity guys. Thank you for your ongoing and generous support. So this is the much anticipated Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra guys. So this is video is just a speculation of what kind of things we can expect, what kind of spec to expect and none of it's been confirmed by Samsung guys. So it's just speculation uh, according to the in information that's available out there at the moment. Uh, so guys, launch date has been set on the 14th of January 2021. Uh, the S-Series will be available in a variety of colors. We've got grey, pink, white, purple. Uh, however, this being the S21 Ultra will only come in phantom grey and phantom black. Um, it could have added another color like purple or maybe pink uh, just to give it a bit of variety. Uh, maybe to appeal to some of the younger buyers but they've just decided to play it safe and just go for the... Uh, more conservative colors are phantom grey and phantom black. Uh, the process is rumored to be the Exynos 2100, uh, which is the top of the range and of the line processor from Equinox and is rumored to be better than the Snapdragon equivalent variant. Um, reinforced polycarbonate plastic uh, has replaced the back from a glass and metal sandwich, guys. Uh, again, you might think that it's not going to feel as premium, however, um, some of the uh, early sort of uh, impressions are that it does actually feel very, very premium, even though it's a plastic bag, but it is very, very high quality material used, as you'd expect from Samsung. Uh, also, guys, the specs are as follows uh, for the S21 Ultra. We've got the 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, we've got 1440 by 3200 resolution at 511 pixels per inch, 511 ppi. We've got HDR10+, Plus, uh, which is actually the HDR10+, Plus varies the contrast of your darkest dark blacks and your lightest whites uh, on a scene by scene basis, guys. So on just HDR, on some of the films, it'll just set the refresh rate from the beginning to the end at one standard rate and it will continue through. Uh, when it's HDR10+, Plus, that means that it will adjust according to the scenes that are being shown on a scene by scene basis which is pretty cool uh, anyway guys you've got in display fingerprint scanner as you'd expect you've got 120 hertz. now this is the big difference guys you've got 120 hertz adaptive LTPO display so we can use the full 120 hertz refresh rate at the full quad HD resolution of 14 40 pi now if you remember from the previous phone guys the s20 ultra you could only use the 120 hertz refresh rate at the lower 1080p and not at the top 1440p but they've actually improved it so you can use full quad hd 1440p with 120 hertz refresh rate which is pretty awesome uh, also guys uh, you have uh, got the uh, refresh rate will adapt from 1 to 120 um, hertz uh, according to what, whichever apps you're using to try and help you save battery life, which is cool. Um, again, quad camera setup, guys, 108 megapixel main HM3 main sensor camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide. You've got two 10, 10 megapixel cameras and up to 10 times optical zoom, uh, which is the famous 100 times zoom that they had on the old phone as well. It's powered by five nanometer Snapdragon 888, which will most likely be the U in the US. However, in Europe and most of the countries, uh, we're probably going to get our hands on the Ex Exynos 2100, which is still rumored to be a very, very good processor, guys. Uh, 5G compatible, 12 gigs of RAM, 128 GB storage with micro SD compatibility, so you can push it up to 256 and 512 and beyond. Uh, 5000 mAh battery and 65 watt charging, fast charging, as you know. And the biggest change being, guys, the much anticipated S Pen has finally come to the S series, guys. So this will be the first S21 Ultra with the stylus S Pen. It won't have a fitment to, with the phone as you'd find on the Note phones where the S Pen slides alongside the phone. Uh, but you can get cases, guys, where you can actually slide the S Pen inside and it'll be amazing to see how that works. Uh, Bluetooth 5.1, Y5.6. Uh, available in phantom silver and black, uh, silver stroke grey, One UI version 3.1 with Android 11 guys. Now prices are rumoured to start uh, around about $250 which is about £1400 to £1500 range. Again it will be super expensive but then again it is a, a top end phone as you'd expect. Uh, again they're playing it safe with minor improvements. 
over the previous model guys with the biggest change being the introduction of the S Pen and being able to use the full refresh rate of 120 Hz uh, showing the quad resolution at 1440pi which will be pretty cool to see how that works out nothing major to show no new sort of innovations uh, it's just an improvement on an already very very good phone guys with slightly more rounded and softer edges especially around the camera bump area uh, which is quite noticeable and looks very nice anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video please be kind enough to hit the like button please be kind enough to subscribe we're a small channel guys and we are completely and utterly grateful for your generous support thank you for watching guys and we sincerely hope you have a very nice day